So hey guys, welcome back. So now I'm just gonna tell you about few name of the sports and you have to think that have you heard them before or not. First is ostrich racing. Second is cheese rolling. Third is wife carrying. And fourth is elephant polo and many more. So it sounds very unfamiliar, right? So yes, in this video, I'm gonna talk about few of the most unusual sports that really exist. So without any further ado, let's get started and see what are the new things that you're gonna learn in this meaningful Monday video. So in the list, sport number one is Quidditch. Now, the first thing which comes in your mind when you hear Quidditch is Harry Potter's game, right? So yes, you're exactly right that this game was inspired by actual Harry Potter series. So what is the rule in this game? The rules are very familiar or similar to dodgeball and there are seven players in a group and the most and the twist in the game is that the player has to carry a broom between their legs. The twist is that the broom cannot fly, of course, like Harry Potter fiction, but they have to carry and run with the ball. So my second very unusual sport is wife carrying. Now wife carrying is also a very exciting sport where a husband or a man has to carry his wife or his girlfriend. They might not be in a husband-wife relationship. And the rules are also very simple where they have to cross through various obstacles. Now how are the points divided? Let's know. So when the man drops the woman in the ground, the group is going to add 5 points extra and the group which finishes the sport within the less time amount wins the game. Isn't it really simple? So in my list, the unusual sport number 3 is toe wrestling. Now you must be thinking that, oh it's very familiar right? Yes actually, it's actually uh, very similar to thumb, what do they say that, thumb wrestling. Uh, so actually in this, the purse, there will be two people and their foots are going to get logged and they have to pin down each other's foot with the help of their toes. Isn't it really simple? But no, it's not actually that simple as it really sounds. The unusual sport number four is Zorbing. Now what Zorbing actually is? Zorbing is actually a game in which you will be in a huge transparent ball and you will be rolling down a hill with various obstacles that you have to cross and win the game. Now, Zorbing can be in water like when the water flows through a hill. It's not that deep actually. So you can be like in a huge ball that will be floating on the water and you have to cross various obstacles. It's actually a fun game that a really challengeable one. Now, the another humongous game is Elephant Polo. Now, I know you might have seen a lot of kings and queens playing this game. Not queens, basically kings were really, you know, in ancient India. So, it actually originated in, it was played in, rather in Nepal, India and Thailand because there are huge amounts of elephant found in these places. Now, the rules are very similar to normal polo, but the difference is that the polo stick is really very long. You can just think how huge is an elephant and the stick has, has to be that huge because it has to reach the ground after all. So it was elephant polo. So another unusual sport that I'm going to talk about is cycle ball. Now, as the name suggests, cycle and a ball. Yes. So there are basically two teams and in each team there are two players. But the twist is that the cycle with which they will be playing is that there is no breaks. So what's the game? So the game is that there will be two players in each team and they have to make the goal just using their wheels of the cycle and they can't use their hands or any other body part. It's hard. Believe me, it's damn hard. I just saw the video right now. So another unusual sport with a very unusual name, its name is damn hard and it's Sipak Takro. I hope I spell it rightly. If not, please forgive me. So what is this game all about? This game is very similar to volleyball. The thing is that a person has to use their foot to like their feet to place the ball in the opposite side of the net. But the twist is that they can't, they can use any part of their body. They can use any, like any part of their body except their hand and arms. You can't use like in the heat of the moment, you know, you generally tend to use your hands and arm and that's the point where you are disqualified. Another one of the most humongous and unusual game and the last one is ostrich racing. 
Now, ostrich racing is something which I have heard, but I was not knowing uh, all about thing until this day when I did a little bit of research about it. Anyway, so ostrich re ostrich research originated in Africa, and there a person sits on ostrich's back and they just make the ostrich run in the track. Not only that. Now you must be thinking that, oh, it's damn simple that a person has to make the ostrich run throughout the track. But wait, is it? An ostrich can gain like surprisingly high speed up to 19 kilometers per hour and it can jump or stride up to 16 feet in one go. Now it's very hard for a person to maintain that speed when he is like on an ostrich's back without any protection. Just think the condition the person might be facing, the heartbeat which he must be having while riding an ostrich throughout the track. Hey, so it was all about my today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did so, please don't forget to press the subscribe button and press the bell notification icon so that we can stay connected every time I put up a new content. Until we meet, please do take care of yourselves in this world emergency. I hope you are fighting bravely with all like whatever is happening throughout the world. We are gonna pass it very soon. Until we meet, take care of yourselves and your surrounding and your family members. Goodbye.